Hey guys, I wanted to do a thing because I talked to a lot of investors. There's three terrible lessons from rehab gone wrong. Budget, price, and time. Let me explain. So when you're doing any kind of budget, it has to be the right budget, a rental budget. A lot of people do flip budgets. I've seen that many times. I walked into a situation down in Cleveland where one of my investors, who uh, it's a big apartment complex, they were $7,000 higher than they should have been on the apartments. We got that fixed. Uh, you, do you put what kind of flooring do you put down? What kind of paint do you put down? Do you put in new countertops? That's all based on the area that you're buying in and the rental amount. So um, you know if you're doing a rental amount, for example, you don't want you don't want something in the six hundred and fifty to eight hundred fifty dollar range because that's that you're not even going to cover that for rehab. Uh, even if they move out and you've got to put four or five thousand, there goes all your profit. So you always want to be around thirteen hundred, thirteen hundred or more on your rent so you can make more money. So that budget's very important. So you do a rental budget. I don't do a rehab, a uh, oh, flip budget. So those are two different types of, uh, of um, uh, rehab. And you really gotta watch it. I saw some guys want to put in three, three CM uh, granite. Don't need that for some of these places. You know, if you're 1300, look at the area, look at the pictures of the stuff that's been rented for the price you want. Look at the upgrades and that's where you need to be. Basically you need paint, uh, we keep almost all the cabinets. Uh, we paint those, put new stuff on them, new plug switches, lights. Flooring's important too. So we do put a little money in the vinyls, the strip. That lasts for about eight years so we don't have to get carpet. We never put carpet in it because that's going to cost you as they move out. You know, I, you know, first first time they move out, maybe the second, but you're going to be replacing that carpet over and over. going to be a continual cost. If you have wood floors, please clean and poly. I went into a beautiful, beautiful apartment. They've done everything but clean and poly the wood floors, which means that the renters are going to scrape that up. It's not going to look good. So when they go to sell it, they're going to be able to refinish it and make that look beautiful. So make sure you clean and poly urethane, your wood floors, plug, and then your blinds and all that. So it's really important that you have a budget that's based on the rent. Most of my stuff, when I start, is around 18500 We just did one uh, over in Bedford that we had to do up for, get it ready to rent. After three years, it was thirty thirty five hundred dollars. So it's and it's rented thirteen fifty a month. So you know this this is what you do for budgets because you know we put in all the right flooring, all the right stuff, so we don't have to keep replacing it over and over and over again. Price is everything. <clears throat> a lot of people come in with a one price, and then as they're working on it, they'll call you. Hey, guess what? We found something wrong. You don't want those kind of people. Those people are going to jack up the price, and you're going to lose money. So price needs to be uh, good, and and we keep our prices low. We don't make a ton of money on our construction because we do the purchase, rehab, leasing, and property management, and I also sell the properties. So all that put together makes me a little bit of money, but we do make a little bit on construction, but not a lot. So, and we keep everything under one roof. So if you have a, if you have a realtor buying investment real estate and he's got to give it to a third part, a third party, uh, you know, you're going to, you, they got to make money. So they're going to mark it up and it makes sense. Right. So, um, but everything's on house with us. We've had the same crews for about 12, 13 years. So good thing is price. You got to control. And the only way you're going to do that, if I keep everything on the run rough, um, time, time is, is everything. So as soon as one comes open or won't close, we, we get crews in there, turn on the utilities, get working. And then we do before and after pictures and update videos during that time. Most of our state stuff takes four to five weeks. And then we put it up for rent and we have a great marketing company for that that gets that taken care of. So basically, you know, we do, we do it all. And, that, and, and that's really the, the key to all this is doing it all. Because if you don't have somebody that does that and runs that whole thing, so I'm more of an investment property manager, keeping it all put together and getting it done for you than I am a realtor. So I keep it all together for you. We have all these websites. We have ClevelandIncomeRealEstate.com, ListCleveland.com, AttentionRealtors.com if you're a realtor or you want to be a realtor and you want to learn how to do investment real estate. Because I actually, you should be buying it for yourself if you're a realtor. It's crazy if you aren't because, you know, it's just part of you need residual income. And a great way to do that's income real estate. And then RentDirectPro.com is my rental one. I have a bunch of sites. We have a marketing company. We keep everything done. But it's all done here. So basically, my, my clients basically most, you know, in a methodical way, they just sit back and smoke their cigars and uh, they, they, they get done with their properties. I just talked to an uh, investor out of uh, International One uh, that we just finished a house over in Painesville. We went line by line. He was very happy and we're putting it up for rent. And we also have property management. My wife's a broker. 
Uh, I know it's an Arizona number. She lives here. We live here in the Cleveland metro area, 480-697-3735. We take care of everything for you on that. So it's a great, you got Appfolio. We have a, you know, we have about 150 homes that we manage. But we're very careful what we buy to A, B areas only. And that's what also helps you with the, with, with all the costs as far as uh the properties, you know, you, you've got to keep it. And we have a template. I've done a thousand plus properties, know what we're doing. We don't change much. It's just the same thing over and over. All you need is plug switches, lights. You need to go through the plumbing, the electrical paint, uh, redo the cabinets. We rarely change them, put flooring in, vinyl flooring, not carpet, you know, put the sl the vinyl um, strips in there in the living room, dining room, bedroom area. Or if you have wood, you keep it clean and poly. And then you uh, use a one one piece of vinyl for the kitchens and bathrooms. It works great. And always look at your rents because if you're going to have a budget, you need to make money. And if you're if you're at a six fifty to th you know twelve hundred dollar rent, it's going to be tough to make money because you're going to have to keep redoing stuff, especially that. We buy in A and B areas only, so most of our client, our tenants stay an average of uh, twenty months. So that's a good time. We've had some all the way up to five years. So again, these these are good things. And if you're looking to, for someone to do all this for you, give me a call, 216-703-5740. I'm Brett. I'm with Fathom Realty, and I appreciate it. Thanks. Have a great day.